Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome yourselves back. Today I'm bringing you a new series. This is going to be called something like getting to know PG where basically I kind of take a bit of inspiration from the Panthers and Bates them with their Runa Randoma and me, myself and I series respectively and basically in the background will be a full ultimate team game so just one game of ultimate team. I'm not too worried about the score at the end as long as I don't get absolutely smashed. I might live comment in the future but for now we're just going to do it post commentary. And I'm going to be talking about loads of different things, pretty much get you guys getting to know me, about my YouTube, about my school life, my early life, situations that have happened throughout my life, and just giving you guys more of an in-depth look into what I've done and any tips that I may be able to give you guys. But first off, today is going to be about YouTube, and I'm going to be doing from zero subscribers to around 75, just kind of the journey up to that mark, how long it took me, how I kind of got there, any tips I might have for you guys. So if you are looking forward to that, then please do sit back and enjoy the video and the gameplay in the background. But starting off on YouTube, it's a hard thing, guys. It really is a hard thing to do. And a lot of people probably don't have the mental kind of... I don't know what you'd call it. It is a very mental, physically demanding job slash hobby, depending on what you do. It Obviously, I do it as a hobby. But... What I mean by this is YouTube, a lot of people will give you hate, a lot of people will abuse you, a lot of people won't like your stuff and you've got to kind of have a steel heart or a steel frame to yourselves in a way to be able to overcome that and not to get offended by people or to let them get you down and to let them kind of make your videos take a hit in motivation. Now when you start off it's tough, like I know many of my friends who have started YouTube and it's it's a struggle like from the start it's very hard to get the first I'd say 50 subscribers it, it, that is really hard and it, I mean honestly it took me like three or four months just to get to like 50 not alone 75 I'm um, obviously now I'm on 154 which again thank you for all the subscribers but when you start off the main thing to do is to get a decent microphone so get like a blue snowball but I'm gonna talk about my kind of experience when I started I had a set of Turbo Beach X11s and a PC which could play Minecraft and I was like you know what I've seen people like Syndicate doing the Minecraft project I want to be able to do a series like that just where I play Minecraft commentate over it live com all of that cool stuff and when I started I really didn't realize how much effort would go into it like, I didn't realize that rendering videos would take so long and all the editing that goes into them this video here probably won't be very highly edited just because it's a normal game but at the start I never knew what kind of awaited me and like damn you've got to know now like when you start YouTube it's tough but for me I just started making videos and it kind of went from there I started doing like little squad builders and eventually I kind of got to like five subscribers and then ten and that was tough like that took me like a month or two just to get that far and like the main thing that I did back then which you can still do now is go to YT Gamers so YT Gamers search it up on Google sign up for an account and basically post your videos on there look for people to collaborate with look for people who can give you shout outs and we did concede a horrible goal there like by Leonardo Damio or whatever his name is but go onto that website and that really will help you out that will give you time to kind of find videos to uh, video other content creators to uh, collaborate with which is what I did and a lot of them would help me out they go and watch my video give it a like give me some feedback on it or give or comment on the video or on the forum itself and honestly I think that's the best way to start off and I still do that to this day even though I'm like way above 10 subscribers but that's kind of what I did and for the first couple of months that's pretty much what I just did I had just finished school for uh, study leave so I wasn't revising to be fair and what I was doing was making videos and posting them on forums and just trying to get it out there and one of the most memorable series that I did to start with was my Survival Island series which unfortunately doesn't continue to this day although it may be come back in the future and that did get a lot of support at first people seemed to like my content and from there on in I, I was like you know what I want to do this for a long time and lo and behold I'm still here now I've upgraded from a PC to an Elgato and it really is crazy how much has changed within like kind of the last year of doing YouTube but from that point on we were just doing Survival Island I was just kind of just you know posting them every other couple of days very little editing and not none of the stuff that you see today like transitions on screen outro screens with videos inside pictures like none of this crazy stuff that I do today which isn't really crazy at all but none of that today and if you go back and watch them videos they're very uh, lightly edited they don't require a hell of a lot of effort to make and to be honest I wasn't proud of them the mic quality in some of them episodes were terrible 
and today obviously my mic quality is pretty reasonable I'd say it's pretty decent I use a pop filter I have a mic stand I have all sorts of equipment and that kind of got me to like 20 subscribers by this point and I was really struggling to keep motivated and there was a lot of videos on my channel where I was just kind of just commentating just like hey guys what's up you know this is a uh, PJHD here but it's gonna be bringing another gameplay commentary and obviously today I speak much louder I try and speak much clearer but it was really tough and it was tough because there was so little people watching my videos now if you go and watch someone else's video like this where they talk about their YouTube you'll notice how they jump from like a hundred subscribers to 2k very quickly and that's because back in the day YouTube was easy to grow on like nowadays it took it's taken me a long time and to be honest I'm still not that successful on YouTube I've only got 150 subscribers which I am very grateful for but compared to other YouTubers back in the day it is very difficult and that was a lovely goal there by Diego Costa to put us 1-1 I believe but back in the day it was a lot easier so it was really hard for me and I was losing motivation a lot but I carried on going and eventually you would start to see like the odd subscriber here and there an extra couple of views an extra couple of like ratings and that is just the most amazing thing when people finally start to see your content and that was probably when I was on like 20 and from 20 to 30 that took a long time that really did take a hell of a long time like I think that literally took like two or three months just to get 10 subscribers it was it was crazy and that was a point where I was like do I even want to do YouTube anymore and I just, I just carried on. I carried on doing it, and I was still loving it. You know, I, it was difficult, but the main thing is, if you do want to do YouTube, you've just got to stick at it, guys. If you're starting now and you're on like zero subscribers, don't go begging people to help you out. But just understand this: that if you carry on grinding out videos like I do, I try to upload every single day to my channel, or at least every other day. And if you can do that, then people will come back. And that's what I did. I thought I got into the mindset of look. Surely if I keep putting in a high amount of effort, if, if I want it the most, I can get it. If I want a thousand subscribers more than anyone else, you go out there and you get it. And that is literally how I've done YouTube. I put in a lot of effort. I try my best. Even with school and other priorities during the day, I do still try to get out a daily video or at least a video every two days. And that's just kind of what I got myself into. Over the summer, I would just try to get out a video every single day for you guys to enjoy. And that was great I really enjoyed that and although it was tough I think it paid off it finally did work and the, the jump from like 30 subscribers to 70 was pretty quick it happened probably in like a month like I just gained a shitload of subscribers and it was crazy and that was because of YT gamers again like I just got on there and did it you know I just went on there it took a while I actually used the credits and stuff you basically can buy credits you can either use real life money or every time you post or whatever you get like three or four credits and I used to post a lot and I would save up like 400 credits to post my video on there like I would use my credits to put it on the front page of the website or to put a sub box up and that just helps a shitload I've used other websites that don't work and don't ever sub for sub I've never sub for sub and I would never ever ever recommend doing that but that kind of got me to like 50 ish and to be honest from like 50 to 70 it was just me working at it and I think for the rest of this I'm just going to kind of talk about what I did you know what I did on YouTube because you know it was tough and that's just the way it was I mean I'm still here a year later that's what you've got to be realize is you've got to be dedicated you've got to have a lot of time and I, I feel that it's a good video to give you guys tips on is one of these because they're quite long and I can go into depth about a lot of things and the one thing that I miss and I wish I could do is stream like streaming I think honestly guys if you are thinking of starting a YouTube and you've got like some godlike internet and you would rather stream do that because Twitch is much easier in my opinion to grow into over YouTube but obviously for people like me with really bad internet it's just not it's not a, it's not a way of doing it you know you can't really grow on YouTube with terrible internet or on Twitch even with terrible internet but I just pretty much what I've done or there's nothing special there's no special kind of like techniques or something that I'm not telling you guys like some secret to getting like a thousand subscribers or whatever because there is no trick you know you may think it you may think oh every youtuber's got to know the way to get subscribers you just post videos that's all I did and eventually I kind of got to like 50 70 subscribers and you know the views were still slow like you got to realize the views trickle in at that sort of um, 
subscriber amount. Like, you don't get a stack of views. And look at that. That was awful. I passed across goal and I was supposed to just take a shot. But at that kind of view count, you've just got to realise that views are going to trickle in. You're going to get, like, maybe five or six videos of you, uh, video views per video. But, you know, eventually you will get more. And I just kept doing that. And that's pretty much what I did. I mean, as towards my family, like... My mum's only really started to understand YouTube recently when I got my mission in my partnership, but you know I don't think they really care. If you're worried about your parents starting, uh, if you're worried about your parents starting YouTube, I don't think any of your parents are starting YouTube unless they're like Woody's Gamer Tag or someone. But my parents were kind of cool with it. My dad, I don't, I don't even know if he knows to be honest. We don't like talk about it ever. It's never anything that I need to talk to him about. So, but my like my my mum, all my family live in my house. You know, we're, we're all aware of it. It's nothing really crazy to be honest is it I mean it's just me making some videos and putting them on the internet and if you are worried about your family supporting you I think they will my my mum understands why I want to do it and she's cool with it and it's nice to know that she supports me in a way she doesn't exactly like ask about it but she, she knows that I make them and that that's cool you know I'm happy that for that and I think for most of you unless you come from a really posh family your parents will probably be fine with it to be honest like, if you explain it to them in a way that doesn't make you sound like an absolute geek then you'll be fine and I think around like 30 subscribers of when my mum found out that I was doing it just because I would tell her I was like you know can I have a bit of peace and quiet upstairs trying to record a video and I know I get interrupted a lot but that's the another problem with YouTube is the finding the time to make videos was tough when back then I mean luckily in the summer it was like I had a lot of time when everyone else was out doing something I could just sit and record and not have to worry about getting interrupted but like right now there's people downstairs they could come up at any moment and you kind of have to pick your time wisely, which is why I try to record at a time where I know people are hopefully going to stay downstairs and not come up. But yeah, that took me up to kind of 70-ish. And going back to school was tough. Like when you're trying to do YouTube around school, I found that really tough. And that was kind of September time 2013. God, I'm losing track of the years, guys. I'm getting a bit old. I'm only 16. But trying to fit it in around school is tough, especially if it takes you like three or four hours to upload like this is going to take me this video right now is going to take i'm just going to leave it on all day tomorrow when i'm out that's how long it's going to take to upload like this is a going to be like an 18 or a 19 minute commentary but one tip i would highly advise you guys is do not prioritize youtube over your exams or any revision that's what i did and in a couple of weeks time on this i will talk about my gcse grades and kind of let you guys in on what happened and how badly I did because it's embarrassing it is embarrassingly bad how bad I did in my GCSEs but don't let YouTube prioritize that like when I'm at school I come home if I have any homework I try to do it I, at the moment I don't have any exams so it's a little bit different I've got a lot of free time on my hands to be making videos but when you do have exams don't do what I did and just sit back and make videos you know make sure you put yourself full 100% 110% effort into your schoolwork and that will pay off in the long run and when you get time to make videos then great you know even if that only means you can upload like three or four times a week then that will be fine your subscribers will understand I think my subscribers understand that because I'm in my retake here now that I won't be uploading as much when my exams come up again and I'll be trying to pass second time round obviously so that is a really important thing and going back to school wasn't too bad like this year so far has been pretty easily. I'm not going to go past kind of October 2012 on the time frame because that's kind of when I started to grow a bit more and slowly creep on up towards 100 subscribers, which I'll talk about next time. But as I said, you know, from September onwards, it was just like going back to school was tough. You have to fit it in. You have to try and make time for it. And honestly, just make like three or four videos on the weekend. That's what I used to do. I used to get on on a Sunday or something. I'd record like four or five videos, render them all out and just upload them in bunches over like the week and then you'd have videos ready to upload and schedule further ahead which I think is a really good idea um, I think the next big thing was kind of my partnership which I got with Awesomeness TV now no disrespect to Awesomeness TV but I feel that you shouldn't get a network a partnership at all until you're on like a couple of thousand now I know that I've got a mission in my partnership and I'm hugely grateful to Global Legacy for getting me that He's a friend of mine, but I would highly advise not getting a partnership until you're on like a, a reasonable subscriber account because it really doesn't pay off, guys. It, you know, Awesomeness TV, they did nothing for me. I didn't get any money, which I still don't get any money. I don't care about that. But they didn't help grow my channel in any such way, and there is just no point. There is absolutely no point getting a partnership until you're on at least like 3,000 views per month, I'd say. 
I mean, you need to be making thirty dollars anyway just to make the money off YouTube. So, if you think you can get on YouTube and make a couple of quick hundred dollars, get lost. You're not going to do that unless you are right up there getting a lot of views. But I did get a partnership with them, and at the start, I was like, "This is a great idea. Why not just get a partnership with these guys? They seem like a good company to go with." And at the time, it seemed good, and I even got my friend a partnership. But it's not. Don't do it. Luckily, you can unlink your profile now, and you can get yourself unpartnered. But they will lock you in. Companies like that, they will charge the shittiest CPM. So if you do ever start making a lot of views, they won't pay you properly. They'll pay you jack shit. And look at that 90th minute goal. That happens to me every time. I was about to draw that match as well. But yeah, that's kind of the biggest tip I can give you guys on that. And just just be known, be aware of that. A lot of people talk about it. Don't get a company that aren't going to help you, that are going to lock you in for two years and you can't get out of it. And if you're in two years' time, you've got 100,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers and you can find a better network, you're going to be screwed Like if you're still locked into a network like that. So, thank you for watching this game, guys. I know it's been a little bit long and these videos will be long. If you did watch the whole video, put in the comments, I love titties. And then I'll know that you're an absolute legend. If you are, have you have made it this far as well, please do leave a like if you want to see it come back next week. And I'll talk about from 75 subscribers to 150, which is much more entertaining. And you guys will enjoy a whole lot more. Thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.